guys, so today I'm finally going to be playing with the Flower Wonderlust eyeshadow palette. This one is their Austin Downtown Dusk palette, but these colors are beautiful and I'm so excited to put them on. So what I thought I would do is do two different eye looks with it. So today I wanted to play with the bottom row of colors mostly um, just because these two are intriguing and I just wanted to play with color today. So we're going to see how that looks on the eyes. So first I'm going to take this shade on my crease just because I think it will balance out really pretty with the lime and the purple color. I don't know how pigmented these are. Oh, wow, that's extremely pigmented. Oh, I should have just like lightly tapped my brush in there. I'm pretty sure I have enough for both eyes here. I do, and even on this side, it's extremely, extremely pigmented, if you can see. So pretty. Okay, just alone with this color, I'm happy with this palette. For sure, for sure. We're going to blend this out a lot more pretty. I really thought I was just going to be like a little bit filled. Cool. That's gorgeous. Okay, I'm excited to play with that a little bit more too. Okay, now on the, let's do the outer crease just because it's going to be darker. I want to play with the purple shade on the outer corner. It just looks so, so pretty. Let's see if this is just as pigmented. Ooh, it's very, very shimmery. Mm, it is pigmented. I just feel like it would be better on like the center of the lid, but I really want to go with the lime, so I'm just going to build it up and see what happens. There's a little bit of fallout to the shadows, but not too bad. I think it's just the sparkle to it, but it's really fun and it's laying nicely. You just have to grab a little bit more with it um, to get it on the eye. That's really, 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 really pretty. Really, really pretty. I could just do that all over the lid. But I want to play with as many colors as I can. So we're just going to go with it. I'm in love with this purpley blue shade. I am I love it. They did really, really good with it. Now I'm going to take the lime green shade and put that in the inner corner to the center of the lid because I just love these two colors together next to each other I just had to I just have to put them in my eye next to each other oh that's a saturated green like I just wiped that on do you see that it is gorgeous I'm gonna be so extra today but I don't care because it's so pretty it has a shimmer to it not like a glitter just a shimmer so the purple definitely has like glitter chunks in it um the green is just like a shimmer but together they're beautiful i'm just building it up i feel like when i lay it you just kind of gotta like pat it in because rubbing kind of moving the product i mean you could build it and then it will stop but I have a little brush too, so um, the green is kind of transferring to this side, but I am going to blend it out. But it is harder to work with a little bit to blend it out with the side that I didn't really mix. And then just blend that shimmer. Okay, yeah, it's very easy to blend, so it didn't mess up anything. I'm just trying to make that line in the center less noticeable. And like blend it in and then blend out the crease and mix it all together so it looks like one big uniform eye look that's really really pretty 
I am going to add a tiny bit more of the green because I feel like when I blended it, it took from right here and I want it to be more vibrant. But that's beautiful right there. That's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. I like that just as is how it is and adding like a liner and mascara. So I'm going to do the same to this side and I'll be right back. I actually really, really love how this turned out. It is vibrant and colorful and fun, but really, really pretty. I really like it. I like how these three colors go together. I'm in love with all three shades. That wasn't hard to do at all. I love it. So now I want to try out this Essence Super Last Eyeliner in Matte Black. I tried their Super Precise Liner and I'm in love with that. That's like my new favorite liner. So I hope that this one does the same thing, but we'll see. That did dry down super duper matte. Like, I like it. It was easy to use as well, just as the same as the super precise one. So we'll see how this lasts, but I think I like this one too. I just have to say, I've only done one mascara, but if you can tell right here in the crease, that green and the orange mix like into the crease and it is the most beautiful shimmery shade, like orangey dusk sunset type color is what it looks like and I am living for it. The same with the purple and the orange, like both of them, it's just beautiful how it lays. I am so into this. I'm going to take this first shade that we put in the crease and put that on the bottom lash line. I've already done one eye. I like how it's looking. A little bit goes a long way with this color for sure. Oh, that's gorgeous. And just because I'm extra, I don't want to put purple because of the chunky glitter. I don't want that everywhere. I am going to take a little bit of our lime green shade and put that in the bottom inner corner because it's so pretty when you blend it in the center. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm in love and it's such a different color on the bottom mixed with the brown. It's like a yellowy more color but I think it works. I think it looks so, so pretty. So I'm going to put bottom mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I applied the mascara, I'm really in love with how this is looking and I'm just going to add a touch of shimmer and use this bottom cream shade right here. Well, it's not a cream, but it's a really pretty light iridescent shade and put that in the inner corner. But yeah, I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous look. This is how the eyes turned out. It is beautiful. So I'm excited about this look. And tomorrow when I get ready, I'm going to use the more of the top three colors. It may be this one still, but I want it to be more bronzy look to show you that you can get really, really pretty colorful looks or really, really pretty classic looks with this palette, which is what I was excited about when I purchased it. So, if you want to see how I got this second look, please keep watching. But I hope you guys like this one, because this one was really, really fun to make. Okay guys, so now we're going to do the second look. So first, I'm going to take this middle orange shade on the top row, because it's a really, really pretty shade, and work that into the crease. It's light enough to be a crease color but it does have a lot of pigment to it. It's really, really, really pretty. And it just helps everything blend a lot easier. Then, with a flat shader brush, I'm going to take a little bit of this. <laughs> that just came right off. That's the first time that that's happened. I guess the sticky of it isn't too good the little platelet oh bummer I can't get it to stick back on well 
hopefully the little logo comes out so whatever it'll work for right now but I'm gonna take <laughs> now it's hard to hold this shade right here and put that from the outer corner to the center of my lid and this is super pigmented I love the shade so much. It's just such a pretty color. I love oranges in general. That's why I'm so excited for the fall because I can just wear this color all the time, even though I do anyways, but I don't know. Everyone else is on the same bandwagon as me. So I'm excited. I used to be more of a summer person. Now I'm definitely more of a fall, like winter person because I just love the holidays in general. We're going to blend that out. The only thing I wish that this palette had was like a matte color to put on the brow bone. That's the only thing that I don't like. And it does have some fallout, so I'm just going to like wipe that away. Okay. Now we're going to do the shimmer part of it. And I'm just using the other side of my flat shader brush, but I'm going to take, I got to take this little piece off. That sucks. Um, this shade right here, this bronzy beautiful shade and just put that from the inner corner to the center and it blends in beautifully you'll see it's just so easy to do this and be really really put together this pink highlight from elf is what i'm wearing just because i never wear it so i busted it out but i don't know i shouldn't have put it on my nose it feels weird to see it like a pinkish hue there but see it's almost like the same color as the other shade but it has so much shimmer so it's so pretty in the light when you turn. It's so, so pretty. I love it. And it just goes on really easily and super pigmented. And same as my other look, I'm going to use this Essence Super Last Eyeliner Matte Black shade right here um, and use that on my lids. But I'm going to actually take, what am I gonna take? I'm actually going to use out of my Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette, this one here, just for the brow bone color, little beige shade right here, it's perfect for the brow bone. It just like tones down the shadow out here and makes it easier to blend out here too, which is what I love because it's pretty but not so much my jam out here for everyday wear. You can see how easy that was and it's such a pretty like fall vibe there. So easy to do. So now I'm gonna apply the liner like I said. And it does stay matte forever, like all day. So these Essence eyeliners have quickly become favorites of mine. I'm really mad that I didn't discover them before. Yeah, like one eye is drying right now, but this eye is already matte completely, like a true, true matte. So I really like that about this. So if you're looking for a really good matte eyeliner, I would suggest that one because it's really, really that good. Okay, now for the bottom lash line, I'm just going to go straight away with this shade here. I don't want to do the shimmer all over the bottom lid because I don't want it to have tons of fallout throughout the day. By the way, I have eczema under my eyes again. It's like, I don't know. It's not even that the seasons have changed yet. It's usually when I notice it gets irritated, but definitely need to hydrate more. Just taxing. And then I'm gonna go in with the coppery shimmer shade that we used on top. Basically doing the same thing that we did on the top of our lids on the bottom lash line. It's such a pretty color though. It's just easily wearable and it stays all day as well so I'm really in love with this palette. I'm just bummed that the packaging kind of broke right now. But that's no biggie for me. I can restick that. I'm not fussy at all. And now I'm going to apply mascara and I'll show you the completed look. Okay, so I put on the mascara and now I'm going to add in the inner corner a little pop 
of this bottom shimmer shade. It is gorgeous as an inner corner highlight. I love, love, love it. So that's what we're going to do to make this look come completely together. Stunning. Do you see that? It's a beautiful shade. Also for the lips, I'm just going to add this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. I love this shade as well. This is what I used in my other tutorial as well. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And just a nudie lip gloss to use. Easy to throw on. And adds a touch of color. It's like my lips look better because I don't have tons of pigment to my lips. And it's just really soft and gives the eyes a chance to shine. So this is the finished product. I'm in love with this makeup. So I hope that you guys liked both of my looks. Again, this is a great palette, this Wonderlust eyeshadow palette. Austin Downtown Dusk is the exact name of it. But I really, really love it. And I think everything about it is great. The quality, the pigment, how easy it is to blend. Every shade is beautiful. I don't know what took me so long to try it, but I really think that you guys should if you haven't, and let me know your thoughts on it. But that's everything. I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.